If you're looking for that glow up period or you're just looking to get out of your lazy girl era, these micro habits are for you. We're talking about small, minute things that you can change about your routine that will change your whole entire life. Change your outlook on your day. It'll also give you that quick gratification to show you that you can do this and that you can make a change in your life. In today's video, I'm going to give you 10 daily micro habits that will change your life. Hello, my love. It's Nicole Charnel here. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm talking about micro habits. So when I'm talking micro habits, I'm talking about a small change, just a tiny little change to your routine or regular habit that will change your life. So the first micro habit I have is to get up earlier than you need to. Now you can start by adding an extra 10 minutes, maybe an extra 30 minutes, even to an extra hour of the time that you need to get up. But if you just get up a little bit earlier, you can add a couple more things to your morning routine that will help you throughout the day. This will also help you feel less rushed and also help you feel more prepared for the day because you're getting up, you're taking the time to take care of you, you're taking the time to maybe process the day, maybe to do some of these other habits that I'm gonna talk about, but you're not going to rush into the day. Now, along with that micro habit of getting up just a little bit earlier is taking time to pray or meditate first thing in the morning. This can literally be one to two minutes. When I first started looking into meditation, I found out a lot of it is literally about sitting and concentrating on your breathing. If you think of it that way, a very simple action, you can just take one to five minutes to meditate first thing in the morning. It will center you and get you ready for your day. Adding it into your routine will give you more clarity right off the bat and you don't have to worry about getting up and immediately feeling frazzled over the things you need to accomplish in the day. And I'm just talking about five minutes, just five minutes, deep breaths, concentrating on your breathing, eliminating every other thought that's in your mind and literally just focusing on your breaths. That is the most simplest form of meditation that anyone can pick up and start. The next micro habit that I'm going to suggest is don't pick up your phone until it's time for you to leave the house. Out of habit, our phones are usually our alarm clocks. They're usually our to-do list. They're usually our reminders, all the things that we need first thing in the morning. But instead of using your phone for those things, maybe use a sheet of paper, maybe actually use an alarm clock. Or if you are going to use your phone as an alarm clock, once you turn it off, don't touch it again until it's time to leave the house. This eliminates distractions. It allows you to get out of the house quicker or get your morning to-do list done without any disruptions. This will allow you to accomplish more in the morning. Have you ever looked up the amount of time that the average person based on their phone it is shocking. It is astonishing. It is hours of time that we are eliminating for the week just because we've picked our phone up first thing in the morning, just because we decided to scroll social media just for a couple minutes before we get out of bed. First of all, it's never a couple minutes. It's literally usually like 10 or 20 minutes and we've now wasted all of this time. <laughs> so just by eliminating that 20 minutes first thing in the morning, you now gained 20 more minutes to make sure your room is set up, make sure your environment is nice and clear, taking 20 minutes to declutter, taking 20 minutes to finish your laundry, or maybe sit down with your child or your spouse and to just have a nice, just a nice moment with them. Just think about the time that you can regain back by not picking up your phone. Another micro habit that I'm suggest that you do is to take snacks with you. Now, you may be saying, well, not everybody needs snacks. What if I'm just going to go out to eat later? Let's just eliminate that. Let's not make any stops. Let's not buy any fast food. Let's eat at home. This changes not just your pockets, but it also changes your body. The things that you consume it actually feeds your cravings. When we stop and grab a bag of potato chips, that then feeds another potato chip craving that may come in the next couple weeks. Even if you're not on a health journey and you're not focusing a lot on your health, eating at home is always gonna be beneficial to your body and its functions. Your body craves whole foods. When you take the time to pack some snacks at home, you're least likely to buy something processed or buy something that you really don't need. Another micro habit that you can add into your daily life is to plan your day. And I'm just talking about five minutes where you write a to-do list for the day, or it can be more in depth than that. It can be more in depth than that if you want, but all you need is a minimum of five minutes to just write a to-do list 
for everything that you need to do in the day. I also suggest that this be done in the morning and at night. Taking the time to do this first thing in the morning lets you know what you have set up for the day. And then also taking the time to do it at night lets you know not only what you accomplished for the day, but then also what can you move to tomorrow? What do I have to do tomorrow? Make sure I don't forget this, that, or anything of the third. It gives you a good overview and it only takes five minutes. Now, I know I've been talking a lot about adding things to do into your day, but this micro habit is just for you. You want to add something into your day that you will enjoy. And sometimes for me, it's as simple as making sure I do my skin care at the end of the night. But it can also be something as making uh, making plans to go out for the weekend. It can be as simple as calling a friend and just having a cute conversation. It can be also taking time to read your book or listen to or watch a YouTube video. Whatever it is, this is time for you. Setting aside time for yourself will definitely help you change your life. It helps you remember that you are the main character in your life. You are focusing on you, what makes you feel good so you can produce, so you can be good. I can't be a good mom to my children if I don't take care of myself first. Me taking care of me allows me to take care of them. Don't forget that. This is a huge thing that a lot of people, especially moms, fall into. We tend to take care of everyone else and we don't take time to take care of ourselves. So just take a good five, 10 minutes out your day to just focus on you. It's time for you to pick up a journal. Once again, these are micro habits. So all you need is a good five minutes. It could just be one minute, one line, what are you most grateful for today? This thing could be anything. It could be a big thing. It could be a small thing. But taking time to reflect on what you're grateful for allows you to take a deep breath, and look back at your life or your day as a whole. This will also stop you from hyper fixating on things that don't matter. You wanna hyper fixate on the things that do matter. So then that way you can continue to upgrade your life. You can step into that glow up area much easily because you can appreciate where you came from. You can appreciate what you're grateful for in your everyday life. Now, before I get into the last couple micro habits, I just want to welcome you to my channel. Once again, my name is Nicole Charnel and I do videos on healthy intentional living. And that is just living your healthy life with intention, whatever that looks like for you. However, you're trying to get out of your lazy girl era and you're trying to step into that glow up that is made just for you. I'm here to help you and encourage you. I do videos mostly on productivity, also my health and fitness journey. But something that I really enjoy is encouraging women and showing them that they can be whoever they want to be, you can accomplish all of the goals that you have for yourself. You just really have to set a time for yourself to work on them. If you're looking for someone to help you along with this journey, I'm your girl. Just leave me a comment down below. We can hook up through email, video chat, whatever you need. Always willing to find another accountability partner and to help you achieve your goals. This next micro habit is no stranger. Get in bed early. There is no need for you to be sitting up at one or two o'clock in the morning, unless like me, you get off at 12.30 a.m. every day. However, <laughs> even though I get off at 12.30 a.m. every day, I'm asleep by 1.30 a.m. every time. I get home and I don't waste time to take care of my nightly skincare, make sure I take care of my body and get in the bed to get as much rest as I possibly can. But for people who have great work schedules, there is no reason for you to be up that late. Take the time to get in bed early. And I mean, literally just get in bed. Your body will start to relax naturally. You're more likely to fall asleep faster if you are in bed a good hour before you actually want to fall asleep. Now with that, we also have this last one. I know, I know you don't want to hear it, but stop scrolling. Do not scroll for an hour before bed, a whole hour, a whole 60 minutes. Don't do it put your phone down. Now I'm not saying turn your phone off. I'm not saying put your phone in the other room unless you have something like tablet or maybe a smart TV because I do think there are certain things that can be helpful for you that are on your phone. For example, listening to an audiobook. I love to do this right before bed. I'll turn on the audiobook and most apps have a sleep timer. So I just turn the sleep timer on depending on how tired I am, 15 to 20 minutes. Most of the time I fall asleep before that but I turn it on 15 to 20 minutes. That way my mind is still entertained, 
and I'm listening to something, accomplishing my reading goals for the month, but I'm not watching anything. It's really the watching that is the key. The more that you're consuming, the harder it is for your brain to shut down. This is also why I say you don't have to completely turn your phone off and put it away. You could also listen to rain sounds, white noise, just music if you want to. And some people need their phone to do that. So that's why I say specifically stop scrolling before bed. We all know social media can be super toxic, especially if you are not in the best mindset. Okay, girl, we're talking about getting out of our lazy girl era. And then we're sitting here scrolling, looking at other people being productive, looking at other people making more money, looking at the people having a successful YouTube channel and you don't. This is not helping you. This is not helping you at all. Get off the phone. <laughs> Put your phone down a good hour before you're trying to go to sleep no scrolling and you will see such a difference in your mental health also with how you feel about yourself the things that you want to do we want to access that part of your brain that wants to be creative that wants to incubate that wants to make moves and change your life if you enjoyed this video please leave me a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel i'm here to show you that you are capable of reaching your goals you are capable of achieving of so much more than you think you are and we can do it together it's time to exit that lazy girl era and change your life. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.